Hi everybody, it's Sophia here. Um, I've been challenged by my gorgeous coach, business coach, to talk about my why. The time that I said, enough is enough. I can't put up with this crap anymore. Um, it was back in 2014, September 2014. I was working for aerospace company, um, French based, but in UK. Um, so I was based in UK, but it was um, headquarters in France. And um, in September of 2014, uh, everybody was called to a meeting. Absolutely all the departments were called in um, to separate places because we had about um, 220 employees in that company. So um, we all went in like with a gut feeling that something was not quite right. And we all sat down and we looked at each other and thought, what's going on? What's going on? You know, when you have that feeling that something you got to work and then something you I've, I've had this feeling like loads and loads of times something's not quite right and um you really feel like something is gonna about to happen so we waited for the execs to come and talk to us um and then that's when they like um threw the bombshell at us basically um, the company was not doing too well uh, in their marketplace um, and um, so they start saying to us that they were going to make redundancies everybody looked at everybody you know and I just thought I went back to 2008 when I was made redundant from an awesome company that I work for, um, but it was different in 2008 because you know the redundancies were made properly with the employee in mind, um, so there were compensations and we went you know we went out uh, not feeling that was nothing that we did wrong, but more like you know the I was then in the marine industry. And um, the distribution and the buying in the marine industry was an, in a recession in 2008, was a recession in the UK. Uh, so, you know, that time when we all like there, I just, I held my, you know, my colleagues, my friend, colleague um, hand, and we just look at each other as like, what the heck is going on, you know? So they said, you know, um, they turned to us and said that the market, the industry was not doing very well, um, that they needed to uh, make cuts. And um, they explained, you know, long, long story short, they kind of divided, um, they kind of divided the departments and said, OK, we have this um, traffic light system. <laughs> um and some people are on the red, some people are on the yellow, and some people are on the green. But on that specific meeting, they haven't said actually which people were on the green, on the red, on the yellow. They just said that the people that are on the red, they would have the opportunity to apply for the same position again. Uh, no, the, the people that are on the red, they will go in with redundancy pay, whatever. Uh, the people on the yellow that would um, had to apply for the same position and the people on the green that were safe. Um, and they said at that time, that meeting, they said, right, um, we are going to go back and talk with each other. And we're going to set another meeting to let you know which ones are on the red, yellow and green. This is wrong. This is wrong. People were like balancing their lives and thinking, what the heck am I going to do now? Now, I'm going to have 
um, you know, I'm, I was thinking, like, I was thinking of all the other people that um, have families and some of them, you know, husband and wife were working there. You know, what if they were going, both of them? You know, that's set a family without a freaking job, like tomorrow. That is not right. Um, and I was thinking, you know, I'm 47. Well, at the time I was 46, 45, whatever. Um, and I was thinking, what am I going to do? <laughs> this this time of my life, getting another job is not going to be easy. I know, I know I've got qualifications and I, you know, I'll set my mind to it. So, the atmosphere was absolutely like cutting it. It was, everybody was walking around with their heads down, disappointed, sad. And being part of that environment was really like, it was not good. I was there for, I was there already for three years. And, you know, I made friendships, I had my team, and I knew everybody's life sort of thing, you know. Um, yeah. So we got called again. Got called again for the decision meeting. Who was safe, who was not safe. And again, we went in, and they start you know, throwing names around um, with the traffic light system. I found out that I was safe. I was in the green. But I still felt, felt so, so sad for all the other ones, you know. And that's when I said to myself, I've had enough. I've had enough. You know, I've been building my business online. I took um, a certification. I've always, always studied to a very high level. I've, I've got a degree in tourism and travel agency management. I've got an HNC in computers. I've done programming. I've done web design. I speak um, Portuguese, French, English, and Spanish. Um, in, uh, in 2014, I did a, a really good certification in social media management. Facebook advertising, I've got it all. And I said to myself then as well, it's enough that what you know, and now it's time to go for it. Um, and that's when I decided in December, just before Christmas, I had a, a row with my manager that wasn't managing properly. I've been a manager. I like to motivate my team. I like to work with the team. I like to see the strength that the team has and use it in different areas that are necessary. But this guy was like old enough to be my child for starters. And he's telling me, he's fresh, fresh from uni, and he's telling me how to do my job. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. So, I went in and had a meeting with him, and he was, you know, giving me grief. And I swallowed and swallowed, um, left the meeting straight onto my desk, and I wrote this resignation letter that was just like a small paragraph. Um, went back in to him and gave him the letter. Um, this was on Friday. I gave him the letter and he turns around to me and says, Oh, oh, um, I don't want to lose you. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? Do you want me to hold on to this letter until Monday? And then you have a think about it. And I said, no, this is my final decision. Enough is enough. And you don't treat me like this. And I don't want to be treated like this. I've had enough. I've, you know, put my resignation in. I'm going to give my notice and I'm going to start my own business because I want to do 
more for myself and I want my children to see, you know, that um, they don't have to be stepped on. They don't have to be um, doormats. And that's it. It's final. And that was it. <laughs> Came home. And I was like, uh, I've resigned. Okay. So the mindset's kind of like completely changed. I needed, I needed to get out. I needed to get out because um, I need to do some more networking offline. I needed to um, collaborate with other businesses. I needed to um, really go and meet other businesses and 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 start a business for real. Um, so it was amazing the response of other other people. It was amazing. Everybody, everybody was like looking at me, thinking, "Oh my God, this girl's got balls, big, big, huge balls," and. That just made me even more determined to continue with my journey. Um, and yeah, I mean, I gave them three months notice. I quit on Friday the 13th of March 2015. So I've already been in business for a year and I'm going strong. I'm, I'm making the I'm making the right connections and I'm more clear on my ideal client who is a woman that is still in the nine to five because I've been there and I was building my business was when I was not my nine to five there were days I would go to work all week come back home nights build 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 weekends build 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 learn consume you know how am I going to turn this around and yeah, so <laughs> this is my why. Um, and, you know, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, so, you know, let me know what you think about it. <laughs> that sort of thing. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.